All right, hello guys and welcome back to part four. And now we are in the charts with the words of other. Okay, so first one, full length, full length. Full length means uh, chiều dài đầy đủ, okay? Okay, so next word it is high heeled, high heeled. Uh, it means gót cao. This is a word uh, to describe used to describe the the shoes. Okay, the the shoes that people wear. How high is it? It is high heeled. Yeah, gót cao. Long sleeved. Uh, the word long sleeved mean dài tay. Okay, this is a word to describe. Uh, the the uh, the short or the t-shirt. I am wearing a long sleeve shirt. Long sleeve plain shirt. Okay. So next one, it is the word matching, 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 matching. Uh, it means matching means sound. Okay, sound. Đang xem. Uh, last one, short sleeve. Means ngắn tay. Uh, different from the different meaning from uh, high, uh, full, long sleeve. Long sleeve means dài tay, and this is short sleeve means. Ngắn tay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so we have done. So, uh, in this exercise, it tells us to make a list of the clothes that you can see in the photos, adding one adjective from the box to each. So, um, this uh, is only speaking. Uh, so I will help you with the picture number two. In the picture number two, uh, picture number two, I can I can see a woman is wearing a very uh, a quite long dress, is it or skirt? Maybe no dress, plain dress. Uh, okay, maybe that. And in, in the picture three, picture number three, I can see the woman is wearing a very shiny dress. Shiny dress. Okay. So the other you can uh, describe with the short form like that. Okay. So exercise number two. The people in the photos were described on the website as Hollywood's worst dressed celebrities. Do you agree? Give some reasons using the adjectives below. So also the some of the adjectives like that I have uh, added to you already. Uh, first one, awful, awful, awful means really bad, worst, really bad, tai. beautiful, you know, sender, cool, cool here means not a uh, all. But it is the word to describe the clothes, how people wear the clothes. Is it cool? Uh, it is really cool. It means phong cách. Cute it means also also quite the same meaning as beautiful. But cute means dễ thương. How people are. Okay, to describe how people are. Elegant. Elegant means tao nhã. Means uh, polite. They wear. They are polite clothes. 
but there's an, an adjective to describe how people wear. So elegant is a word, and it is the same meaning as polite. Okay, gaudy. Gaudy means rare, like a lot of colors. Okay, great. It uh, it means great, but this is used to describe the people how people wear is it cool or is it so great here mean uh là một cái từ ý để chỉ mặc đồ đẹp old fashioned means the clothes are that are really old có cổ hủ okay scruffy khiếm nhã mặc đồ một cách khiếm nhã means impolite and different meaning from elegant but scruffy also has the same meaning as inelegant inelegant khiếm nhã impolite smart means thời trang thông minh like you are wearing the shirt which is suit suit uh, is suitable with the the pants or the skirt or the Something like that. Stylish, phong cách. You know that word. It it comes from the 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 noun of style. Okay. Trendy means hợp thời. Okay. So the people who are in the picture uh, are described as the worst dressed celebrities. Uh, why? Do you agree? I think. Mm, maybe not, because look at the picture number four. The man, uh, he he wears also great too. Not not too bad. He's great, uh, but it's a little bit of uh gaudy. It is a little bit of gaudy because red, red, then yellow, then orange. Maybe maybe why do they? Why they said that those people are wearing as the worst dressed celebrities, like the celebrity, the the celebrity in the picture number two, yeah, with the swan. Is it a swan? A swan. A, a swan. Swan. A swan. A dress with a swan. Yeah, kind of that, but it looks awful. Awful. Okay, so maybe you will do do this at home. Describe with the people who are interested in learning English. Okay, ask you to do with you so that they can help you or both of you can help each other. Okay, so let's go to the exercise number four. Complete the phrases from the radio show using the words that. Ah, uh, from the exercise number one. Then listen again, repeat, and check. So now, one a beautiful blank white dress, a small blank clutch bag, a gray blank T-shirt, very casual blank dark blue jeans, a smooth red blah blah blah. So what I want you to do is to fill in those blanks, okay? Those brackets with the word with the suitable word from. The exercise number one. We'll be back and we'll do that exercise, okay? Don't go anywhere.